Do you want to tell me a little bit about your dad? My dad? Mm-hmm. Ah, the real one, huh? Ah, shit, he wasn't that great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and he ended up, honestly, to be totally honest, he wasn't that great. He did a lot of shit that he shouldn't have done, but he got what he deserved. Mm-hmm. He ended up, and I, and I, it's terrible that I say that, but he ended up getting beaten to death like Rodney King by the police. Wow. Mm-hmm. They beat him so fucking bad, baby. It's crazy. Um, unrecognize, unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. When was I was six in, years old. Oh God. Mm-hmm. Was this in Nebraska? Or was this, in this is in California. Yeah. Okay. He was from California. So they beat him unrecognizable, and um, he ended up dying uh, in the hospital. So we tried to sue. We didn't get no fucking money. We ended up broke. But, yeah, you know, you reap what you sow. If you do your family wrong, you do your loved ones wrong, you do shit that you know you shouldn't be doing, then Mm -hmm. sometimes the universe will come back and bite you in the ass in a very vicious way. And I think that's what happened in this case. How did you feel about that when that happened? I was so young, you know. um, I reflect on it now very differently, but I was so young, I really didn't quite understand or grasp it all. I just thought it was love. I thought everything, you know, I'm just six years old. So, and at one point, I think I, I actually uh, broke broke into my mom's room, like I'm robbing my mom. <laughs> but I got into my mom's bedroom and got into a drawer where there was um, a picture book. I'm like bringing, this is crazy. I'm like seeing memories right now. Um, There was like a picture book of him beaten up really badly, you know, and um, just pictures and pictures and pictures. And I remember that till this day. So um, that kind of sticks in my head. I'm so sorry. That memory just came and I don't even know what the heck you just asked me. What was the question? It was um, about about your father and how you felt when he died. So this picture book, I'm assuming, is this from the beating that killed him? Yes, it was. Why do you think your mom kept that? Uh, Oh, because it was evidence. We were trying to win a case. Yes. Yes. And it, it... it stuck in my head. It fucking obviously traumatized me. It yeah. did something. Yeah. Because I still see it till this day. But, you know, especially seeing your father unrecognizable like that when he was such a beautiful human being. Not inside. Right. But on the outside. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, she had to keep it to, for evidence to try to fight the case. But we didn't win shit. And have you come to peace with like this kind of contentious relationship it sounds like you had with your father at all or do you think it, there's still unresolved issues there I've come to peace with it I think uh, a few of my other siblings have not mm. uh-huh. so I have come to peace with it I just I use my sexuality to um, protect myself hmm so that no one else can ever do that to me again. Mm. I, I call the shots. I already, if you feel like you're going to try to embarrass me, you can't because this is who I am and this is what I do. Mm-hmm. You know, if you feel like you're going to try and take over me or um, uh, belittle me or make me feel less than or make me feel anything because of sexuality, I will overpower you with that because I am so strongly embodied and I just, I fucking, I just know me so well and I know my body so well, I know my energy so well that I just, I don't know, it's it's something that helps me conquer that feeling of being overpowered by right. that man. Right, so... I mean, that was hard to say, baby. Yeah, no, but I think <laughs> that was hard to get out. And I'm usually really good at talking. I think you said it really well, though. Oof. And just like to clarify, I mean, I'm getting from you that like your father molested you. Yes. So you see how I beat around the bush? Did you like that? <laughs> I mean, I, think- I beat all around the bush. <laughs> it's like you're going to figure out this puzzle all by yourself, baby. I mean, this, is, this has got to be a hard thing to, yes. to talk about. Yes. You know? And this is coming from somebody who's never experienced that. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, I. Because you're supposed to, this person is supposed to protect you and love you. Yeah. You know, this is what you now think that this is what love is. Yeah. And so now continuously you fall into those type of relationships where someone is uh, abusing you, but you don't even know it's abuse. Mm-hmm. You think it's fucking love. Yeah. And then, and then when you finally find love, 
you can't even accept it because you've had your guard up or not even your guard up. You've just been so used to this being what it is that you're not able to accept that. Yeah. You think that that's wrong. Yeah. You think something wrong with that motherfucker. Yeah. When it's really you. Yeah. Because everybody been treating you wrong. Right. Nobody's ever taught you the right way. The people who were supposed to teach you abuse you. Right. So this is where you are now. Now you got to teach yourself. Or now you got to learn from your own experiences. And this is why I'm so goddamn hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I kind of disguise it with laughing and, and humor and whatever I can. Because if you cry about it every day, then mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think you'll ever get over it. I don't know yeah. how you get over it like that. I mean, we all have our coping skills. Yeah. And it sounds like you've taken sexuality and you've flipped it, right? You said that you're very you're very sexually strong. Mm -hmm. And um, I know you're like an alpha female mm -hmm. in your relationships. Yes. And Which so that great. sounds like, you know, like you took that powerlessness you felt as a kid and you, and you changed it. Mm -hmm. Do you so feel then, like that's helped you? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, within my mental... And um, in my heart, you know, that mm -hmm. type of stability, yes. But uh, relationship-wise, not so much. <laughs> You're still figuring that out? I'm still figuring that out. That's a hard one, you know? It is, it is. I mean, having to unlearn all of that, mm -hmm. I, you know, I can't imagine. Yeah. And then finding somebody so nice to even sit there and try to be patient to deal with your shit. And mm -hmm. you still... Just can't get it. So eventually yeah. we'll figure it out. At yeah. least now I know I'm aware of it. That's the first mm -hmm. step, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's mm -hmm. just, I mean, life's, life's a journey, right? It's all about figuring out like how we navigate the world and it's different for everybody. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.